Hello and welcome to another Freckleton Forehead video. We are called Freckleton Forehead because me, Monty, is forehead because I have a massive forehead apparently, and Alex is freckles because he has loads of freckles. If you see our other videos, you will see why. This is the story of penicillin. The story of penis how penicillin was invented begins with a bit of luck. Surprisingly, it was not first discovered by Howard Florey, but it was actually first observed by an English scientist named Alexander Fleming, who was very lucky. He, when he went on holiday in 1928, he left a petri dish on his desk that he had disinfected properly. He was also very lucky for the fact that the weather was perfect for mold growing conditions. When Fleming returned from his holiday, he noticed that mold had prevented the growth of bacteria in his lap and where he worked. Fleming's only problem was that he couldn't extract the bacteria killing substance, so he couldn't start using it as a treatment for infections. He went on to, d to do other research, leaving Howard Flores team to lead the way to Pearson's use and discovery as an antibiotic. Howard Flory, born 24th of September 1898, gathered a team of scientists for the project because he had realised that the project was far too large for just one person. Even though, back in the 1930s when he did this, working groups of scientists was unheard of. This team started by carefully investigating the properties of antibacterial substances found in mould. They started investigating penicillin because a member of the team, Ernst Chain, came across an article about Alexander Fleming while reading a medical journal, thus prompting the team to start investigating penicillin. The group then split up so they could work in areas which they had the most knowledge, but they still met up from time to time so they could compare their discoveries and ideas. Howard Floy worked with Robert Jennings on the impact of penicillin on animals, and later worked with his wife, Ethel, on, cl on clinical trials of penicillin. In 1940, the team formed one of the most important medical experiments in history, which was so urgent that they came in and started on the weekend, Saturday 25th of May. They commenced the experiment by injecting eight mice with a lethal dose of streptococci bacteria. Half of the mice... <laughs> half, of the mice <laughs> half of the mice died, I, well the other half, 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 half the mice were used to trolls, and, one, and half of them had penicillin. Uh, the ones that were controlled died, and the ones that were treated were, were fully recovered. Covered. Penicillin was first used as a treatment for Albert Alexander, who had been scratched, scratched by a rose thorn. His whole face, scalp, and eyes had completely swollen up. He was treated with penicillin, but they didn't have enough to see through the full recovery, even though he started to recover. He unfortunately had a relapse and died. After this incident, they started using penicillin as a treatment for sick children because they didn't require such large quantities. Because of his marvelous discovery, he became extremely famous and has some of him in Canberra named after him and even had his face printed onto the old $50 note. He died on the 21st February 1968.